Lincoln Laney, West. Westward Ho. Ho? I'm not calling you a ho. Mm -mm -mm. That's Westward Ho. Hi, and welcome to Traveling Marlins. I'm Gail. And I'm Mark. And the purpose of our channel is to connect with people and places by living, learning, traveling, and enjoying. Took a while to get that out, didn't it? Yeah, that's something new. So it's still the best day ever. Anyway, last week I did a video and it was mainly me and oh. I did a bike ride in Glenwood Springs. It was the Glenwood Canyon Trail. And I will link it right up there and in the description below so you can see it. This week, it's mainly Mark. Well, we are headed to Uray, Colorado. And if you've never been there, it's just absolutely great place. Uh, when we got there, we pulled in, parked, and we walked around the park taking diesel for a walk. And I kept noticing all these older FJ cruisers, Toyota FJ cruisers. And uh, all in all, there were 75 of them in this park, and they were there for a, uh, their, it's called the 7th Annual uh, Solid Axle Front Axle, it can't be an independent front suspension for what they're doing, uh, convention. And they had FJ40s, they had 60s, 63s, 80s, 60, whatever all those things were. But it was really cool, and a couple of guys from Minnesota that knew each other parked right next door to us and we inter we talked with Matt for a while and a really nice guy and you'll see that in this interview or interview in this video well, it was an interview too. and uh, but yeah it was really neat seeing all the FJs and uh, then we'll show you I think next week some other things that we did around uh, URA and it's really cool so hope you enjoy it and just to let you know, we're going to start the video with a little bit of the road trip between Silt, Colorado and Uray because it was beautiful. We went through a canyon and we wanted to share some of that with you as well. So you'll see that first. So hope you enjoy it and uh, you'll see some more of Uray next week uh, about some waterfalls and hiking and we had a good time. Yeah, here we go. And I'd like to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe subscribing helps you in two different ways it will put our channel in your subscription area so we're easier to find and then also it'll give you the chance to have notifications if you want them and i suggest changing it to the black bell if you do and if you don't want notifications just change it to none and then that also helps us because it helps us earn more youtube tools so we can make our channel even better Thank you to all of those who have subscribed. We, th we appreciate you very, very much. I guess we're going through a canyon and a tunnel. That's a short tunnel. And we're done. I guess this is still the Colorado River. I would 
assume so. It reminds me of when we were in Idaho area and where else? Uh, I guess just Idaho. And we kept going along the Columbia River. And the Snake River. Well, I started to just say Snake. I guess it was both of those rivers. It was pretty. Curves ahead. Your speed zero. Man, <laughs> You're never gonna get there. I don't have to worry about those curves. Colorado River. We were right. Look at that. Oh, that's neat. That is sweet. Look at that. Breathtaking. I don't know I'd go that far. It's pretty cool. It's pretty neat. Just the rock formation and it's just neat and the colors. Taking my time as the sun it shines On me and everyone that has come to find This world is cruel but there's nothing new Living in the moment is the only truth well, Let's go slow mm -hmm. Living in the moment is the only truth well, Let's go slow Sorted towns are where I'd rather be They give me love and they set me free The ocean's tides can live without the moon And all in the same goes for me and you Let's go slow mm. Living in the moment is the only truth well, Let's go slow mm. Living in the moment is the only truth well, Let's go slow mm -hmm. Living in the moment is the only truth now. So you got to get my heart It's the car you'll hear. It's real squeaky. Well, here we are at the KOA in Uray, Colorado. And they're having a big Land Cruiser rally. They have to be solid front axles. And there's a bunch of FJ40s down here. And all together, you can look around through here, all Toyotas, a couple of Lexuses, which Toyota. And they're having a big get together and rally and they go driving out. Every day they're doing different trails. Like all the FJs are going to start coming by us right here. A lot of good looking old FJs. And it's amazing how valuable these things have gotten to be. Uh, and there's like all together around 70, 75 they said. And, uh, some of them, you know, it'll be a 64 model and it'll look like an 82 model. They don't, they didn't change much back then. Mark, how did we meet Matt? He pulled up next door to us. <laughs> Basically, that's all there is to it. Exactly. And we're both introverts. We don't talk to anybody. Exactly. Who is an introvert? We are. You and I? Yeah. Oh, I am definitely an extrovert. He's being sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Perfect. I don't yeah. talk to anybody. Yeah, me yeah. too. <laughs> it doesn't matter who it is or about what I that's can talk right. about. I can talk about anything. Uh, anyway, what got too. your attention over there, Mark? Uh, the FJ Cruiser. FJ, FJ 40, FJ yes, sir. FJ 40. Yes. Uh, from your, my childhood, you see those. And mm -hmm. That's a, that, well, that's better than a Jeep. Yes. And 
my personal opinion, my humble opinion. So Matt, how'd you get started with all this? Um, I had somebody bring me one of their land cruisers to work on one time and I, I had no idea what they even were. Uh, and then once I seen that, I, it intrigued me and I started doing some homework and found out what they were and kind of their iconic stance in the off-road community. And, um, and then I wanted one after that. So how old were you at that point? Uh, that's been quite a while ago. I would bet probably I must have been in my mid-20s when I first seen my first one. Cool. Yeah. And is this your first event? This is my first event going oh, well, to. Well, tell us, tell us something about this event. I guess, let me back up a little bit. We saw a bunch of these, what are they called? FJ Cruisers. FJ Cruisers. And Mark saw them all over the, uh, about we're at a KOA, all about over the About 75 of them. And he knew something was up. So then that's when you started looking at them and like, oh, started drooling and all this kind of stuff. So then that's where you're at. You're some kind of event that's going on here. So yeah, this is uh, what they call the Solid Axle Summit, which is the seventh annual they're putting on. And um, the criteria is that you have an old Land Cruiser with a solid front axle, because uh, as they got newer, then they went to independent suspension. But so the criteria is you have an old one with solid suspension or solid axle. And uh, and they, I think it's, they limit it to, I believe 75 vehicles. So plus the uh, leaders and stuff, but um, so yeah, there's, there's quite a few here in, uh, in the campground of 40 series. I think there's even a 25 series, which was one of the early ones. Um, and then there's 60 series, 62s, there's a 73 here. So there's, there's a, a 80s, a lot of 80s are here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. And those are, were made in the mid 90s. Does this happen every year here? Every year here in your yes. This is the seventh year of it. So this is year seven, seventh annual. Now, do they limit you on any kind of modifications or it's just whatever no you so goes. yeah so you could have a newer land cruiser you know you could have a 2020 land cruiser that you swapped in a solid front axle and say hey that's what i'm bringing because now it has a solid axle well i um, saw one of the uh lexus yeah. gx 470s yeah it was still independent front suspension so there is a couple you know whether somebody broke down last week with their regular cruiser so then they brought their their daily driver you know uh, so i mean they don't tell them no you can't come you know but they don't limit you on your engine no. swaps anything because no. these guys are all having diesel engines twin turbos mm, yeah. one's got a twin turbo cadillac engine in it yeah. eight speed transmission i mean and it's fun because then you can see what other people have done yeah. to their vehicle and be oh i'd like to do that to mine or oh where'd you get that or it's, it's a big learning curve and then there's a ton of support if you have any questions or you want to learn something all you got to do is ask there's so much knowledge here and youtube let me tell you this gail has already been kind of pressing me to go find one and get one <laughs> so <laughs> well you heard it here. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> That's right. You heard it here first. You heard Mark, it here first. Mark's coming next year with the Land Cruiser. Matt's backing me up. That's right. Yeah. No, I have nothing against it. I really don't. I mean, he knows I don't mind stuff like that, but yeah, we're older and we're retired. Mm -hmm. That's the perfect time to have one. Exactly. Oh, you're not helping. <laughs> then you get to really enjoy it. <laughs> okay, yeah. thanks a lot, Matt. Mm -hmm. anyway, he paid me to say that, by the way. I, you probably did. Dinner, dinner tomorrow downtown. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, cool. So this lasts a week, I guess? So, yep, the event is five days. You know, uh, everybody straggles in on Saturday and Sunday, or even on Sunday, and then the event's Monday through Friday. Yeah. Okay. yeah. And a lot of people drive them. That's that's kind of one one thing that people really pride themselves. Hey, I drove my classic drove vehicle there. You and know. he drove his from Minnesota. So we dr yeah, we drove from Minnesota. Yeah. Wow. Um, and there's other people that drove from Florida, you know, which is even, there's a lot of people who came from Florida. So that's quite a ways further, yeah. Yeah. That's a little yeah. bit of a haul. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, well, thank you very then much. No problem. And continue having fun with it. Yeah, and you guys too, enjoy it. You know, they walk around the campground, see all the vehicles, it's, they're fun to look at. It's really cool. And there's a lot of people to talk to. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, thanks. But I'm, I'm an introvert. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you're wrapping it back around. Round to the first.